Hello everybody, um, Blaine Gaming here, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about something very important. I had a video scheduled to be released today, but obviously I'm not going to be releasing it today, and instead I'm going to be holding off till tomorrow, because this just had to be talked about. If you keep up anything with the news, and even if you don't, you should still know about this event, and um, yesterday, at, uh, yesterday, about midday, there was a big, large, organized, coordinated terrorist attack in Paris, France. Um, most people know about this around the world, and everybody's giving their global support to Paris. But anyway, what, what happened was there was um, five terrorists, and they have all been killed by now. Um, if, as long as nobody's been lying to us, they have all been killed, and which is a very great thing. And basically what happened was at a um, Eagles of Metal Death concert, um, a terrorist went in and sprayed down the entire crowd with an AK-47 and then with the remaining people that was there, which is still a bunch because the entire thing was sold out, um, he kept the rest of them hostage in the building. Many of them, a couple of them got away, I shouldn't say many of them, but many of them got away and they uh, kept them hostage for quite a while. And not only that, but also at a France versus Germany game, they uh, there was explosions outside of the game, and many people in the stadium had to huddle up in the middle of the stadium, and they had to stay in the stadium until they were sure that it was safe to go outside. But basically, but everybody around the place was just being uh, scared. I mean, there were this has never been this has never happened. There's never been so much damage to France since World War II, and they had to declare a state of emergency, and um, Holland the uh, president of France declared a national state of emergency and they had to shut down all the borders and bring in the uh, French army to come in and hunt these people down and take them out before they could cause any more damage. And there were three suicide bombers that went to different cafes in France and just blew themselves up and uh, the same way with the people that uh, kept the people hostage when the police finally closed in on the uh, theater that they were in, they just blew themselves up. And um, another thing was they also found two snipers that were on balconies in different buildings that were sniping people on the uh, ground down below, just picking them off one by one. And in total in this event, 128 people as of now. Um, the time I'm recording is 11 o'clock on Saturday, November the 14th. And as, as of right now, they found 128 people dead. But the number is continuously rising. and no, no other damage has been done since yesterday, and they're trying to get everything fixed out. And also another little thing is that the United States has dropped bombs uh, targeting the Islamic State leader, but they're not sure if they hit him or killed him or not, so we'll see about that in the meantime. Uh, that's another little thing, but there's been global support for this around the world, and I'm sure your country, if you're watching, has been supporting. And if, you're, if you live in France, then obviously that's going to be a big thing there. So... I'm hoping that you guys are keeping support and just keep remembering France. Don't let not get them out of your heart. But the different places around the world that are honoring them or not honoring them, but keep them in absolute solemnness is the One World Trade Center in New York, in the United States. Um, they have lit up the spire in red, white, and blue in honor of the French flag. Um, the San Francisco City Hall, it has. Uh, got uh, the blue, white, and red all over it. Um, the Sydney Opera, Opera House in um, Australia, it has itself lit up in the French flag. The Auckland Tower, it has itself uh, in the colors of the French flag. The CN Tower in Toronto, Canada, it has its um, colors in the French flag. The Mexico Senate Building also has the colors. And now here's something that's a little bit um, more interesting is that the, if you guys know, if you've ever been to Las Vegas, they have the Paris Las Vegas thing there. It's it's a big attraction, and they have the Eiffel Tower there, and it's it looks it looks really cool. It's neat. It's supposed to resemble Paris, but because of the events, for the, they've actually they turned out all of their lights last night on the Eiffel Tower. They kept every light on, but then turned off the Eiffel Tower and made it dark in order of the victims who died. And also not too close from the or not too far from there, um, the high roller Ferris wheel where you can look out into Las Vegas 
uh, had itself lit up in the colors of the French flag. And another thing, um, a big hashtag has been going around, hashtag pray for Paris, if you didn't know about that. And people all around are praying for them and sending flowers. Different embassies that I've seen all around the world, in Germany, in New York, in Spain. I've seen it all over places, even more places, I'm not going to take time to mention. But they've been sending flowers with a note saying hashtag pray for Paris on it to many different French embassies all around the world. And that's just an amazing thing. So um, to end this video, I just wanted to say just no matter what your religious beliefs, no matter if you're, it doesn't matter what you are, it doesn't matter if you're an atheist or anything, um, no matter what you believe in, just keep, keep Paris in your prayers and keep them in your absolute solemnness. And because they are going through a very tragic time right now, this is the first, the most bad thing that's happened since World War II to them. So just once again, just keep them in your prayers and any whatever else that you do. So as we all come together as one world to help support Paris friends. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.